February 9th, 3.43 a.m. Body Clinic, Intensive Care Unit. I'm still up at this hour, reading through the trial record of a certain case. It's the first case my mentor, Mia Fey, had ever handled in a court of law. The horrifying truth that I refuse to accept is holding me hostage here within its pages. Dahlia Hawthorne. What, what I have read, I don't want to believe. What is written here, this isn't the Dahlia I knew. After falling into Eagle River, I somehow miraculously saved. But I ended up catching a cold that seemed to knock me around the world and back. I feel dizzy, my ears are ringing, my throat burns, and my head is on fire. But I will recover. I have to recover by this afternoon. I have to meet with the most ill-tempered witness imaginable. But I know that he will be able to help me with him. Somehow. Every night, 2.43pm, Dusky Bridge. Right, are you sure you're well enough to be doing this? You still look a little green in the face. Maybe Viridian, you know how to speak. Actually, my fever has gone down quite a bit. How's your temperature now? Only 102.2 degrees, nothing to worry about. That sounds like a lot. Like, even if that's Fahrenheit, that's still quite a lot. <laughs> anyway, I read today's trial record. You weren't bad, Edgeworth. Pretty impressive, despite the circumstances. We're not in the clear yet. The main point of contention tomorrow is going to be the murder weapon. Yeah. In the end, the Shichishito did not deliver the deadly blow, which means there must be another sword hiding out there that we don't know about. Another sword, huh? Don't you worry about a thing, pal. I'll dig up the murder weapon myself or I'll eat my coat. Thanks again, Edgeworth. I'll handle things from here. <laughs> that is probably for the best. Actually, I was thinking about paying the old precinct a little visit. There's something I want to look into. And that is? Our client's background, naturally. You mean Iris, sir? I have the feeling that we've met before. All I want is confirmation, one way or the other. And since I probably won't be getting that from you... I'm sorry, Edgeworth. I bid you adieu, right? Take care. Guess I should get moving too. Why? Do you need to be somewhere? Yeah, I've got to get to work on this bridge, pal. I'm bringing something up so we can get across to the other side. That's right, Maya is still stuck over there at the inner temple. But don't you worry, pal. As soon as it's all set, you'll be the first to know. Thank you, Gumshoe. <coughs> <laughs> no problem, pal. Just try not to give me that cough of yours, okay? Alright, I'm off. Hang in there, Maya. We'll get you out, I promise. In the meantime, I've got to continue collecting evidence. Okay, so yeah, we are now playing as Phoenix. We will not be playing as Edgeworth again. Sadly. Uh... We still can't get across the bridge because there isn't one, but we can go have a look around. February 9th, Fenley Hall. Looks like no one's here. Larry! Louise! We're sure he'd be hiding here. I'll try again later. February 9th, how's it your temple? Main gate? Uh, that's the reason, I'm pretty sure. Come on, please! It's for art's sake, I swear! There's only one guy I know who could be this persistent and high-strung. I've completely forgotten how I was voicing Larry, so I'll do my best. I'm talking about the heroine here! The heroine in my book! It'll make you famous! Ah, enough! A fool's fool, fool fool, who foolishly accepts the foolishness of a fool's fool. Wouldn't you agree, Phoenix Vite? Huh? M me? 
Wait a second. I, I know you. Your, um, ow! Your reflexes and minds need to shape up. Your brain's frying like a sunny side up and you want to grill me over a name? Franzi, you can't do that. Even as we speak, Nick's on the brink of death. So I'm told. Vip a dead horse. Isn't that one of your American sayings? No, it's not. And I'm not on the brink of anything. Come on, Nick. Hello, would you? Tell her she needs to model for my new picture book, Franzi's Whippity Whip Trip. Ah! Before you ask me to model, learn to give at least semi-coherent testimony. And before that, you'll have to learn how to live a semi-coherent life, Larry. I don't care what anyone says, I'm telling the truth, I saw what I saw. She flew, I'm telling ya, whoosh, just like that dude with the red underwear. I don't think I'm gonna forgive you guys when you come crawling back to apologize. Off he goes. Hmm. It's amazing how little has changed with you in the past year, Phoenix Vite. Have you been in Germany all this time? That's right. Sending my perfect VIN record, naturally. Oh joy. Sounds like she hasn't changed a bit. Has it really been a year since we first met? I am Franziska von Karma, the prodigy. I... see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Franziska was born and raised in Germany and became a prosecutor at the age of 13. Her father was the legendary prosecutor, Manfred von Karma. He had a perfect win record for 40 long years, but now he is gone from this world. Don't tell me you still hold a grudge against me. What's what happened to your father? Phoenix Vite, you will fall before me, this I promise. But it will be for my sake, not for my father. I'll be clear. Yes, Crystal. In truth, I was shocked. I came back to America with the intention of defeating you. Instead, it was my little brother who was leading the defense. Edgeworth. Come to think of it. Edgeworth was pulled into being a prosecutor by Manfred von Karma as well. Miles Edgeworth told me something very interesting, interesting, you know. He said this case is of special significance to you. Because it does. And that's precisely why I am here. Your personal involvement will make crushing you into teensy vincy pieces all the better. I'm not very good at this accent thing, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> Probably the fever, but she's so openly hostile that it's always kind of cute. Ow! No smirking. No whipping the sick. That foolish fool doing such a foolish favor for such a foolishly foolish fool. Worth. Make no mistake, Phoenix Vite. I came here for one thing and one thing only. Pulverize you. Not like I thought you were here to bring me some cold killer X, you know. I bent over the whole case file on the flight over. You read the whole thing? Yes. Every last word of every last sentence of every last paragraph. All the ridiculous things you did made it a very interesting read, you know. Thinking to cross a burning bridge, do you even consider the dangers? No. The only thought in my mind was, I have to get across. A fool who doesn't think is more foolish than a fool who foolishly thinks. Some she said he'd let me know once the bridge is repaired. I, uh, she's gotta be okay, I just know it. Plus, I need to ask her about what really happened at the Inner Temple that night. I'd love to know what that thing was used for on the night of the crime. Huh. Still thinking small, I see, Phoenix Vite. Or perhaps not at all. That's why you will never defeat me. Sorry to burst your bubble, but I don't recall ever losing to you. I'm for us to settle this once and for all with one final showdown. It's like she mentally blocked out my victories over her from her memory. February 9th, Hazakura Temple, Main Hall. Mm -hmm. 
That was one long sigh. That was a sigh? Okay. <laughs> um, Sister Bikini? My, my, my. I didn't know you were here. How are you doing? <laughs> I've also forgotten her voice. I'm so sorry. It's been a really long time since I've last done an episode of this. Mm. Um, you have to pretend to be in a good mood for my sake. I... I suppose I've made a terrible mess of things, haven't I? I let Mr. Elise die, and then there's Iris as well. Mr. Elise? How do I think about it? Hmm... There's an acolyte stuck at the inner temple, and that poor little girl has gone missing too. That little girl? Y you don't mean Pearl, do you? Yes, I'm afraid I do. She hasn't been seen since the morning after the incident. Pearls? She's missing? Why did anyone tell me about this? Must be getting old. I think I've seriously lost faith in myself. Are you talking about your performance at the trial today? You believe me, don't you? I'm not a liar. I would never lie. I know what I saw. I saw Iris pull that sword from Mr. Galisa's body that night. I'm certain of it. At least, I was until this morning. I don't see any psyche locks, so she must be telling the truth. Um, so why are you so unsure of yourself all of a sudden? You know that artist who testified after me? I saw Iris flying, her white hood fluttering. I felt like I might start flying myself. When I saw that man testify so fervently about something so impossible, I started to wonder if I'd act to just like him when I was on the witness stand. I wouldn't take that guy too seriously. He's an artist, but all he draws is trouble, and nothing else. If both Bikini and Larry are telling the truth, that can only mean one thing. They both didn't see what they think they saw. On the night of the incident, you met Iris at the Inner Temple, is that correct? That's right, I'm sure it was Iris. Iris claimed she was in her room in Hazakura Temple. I knew I shouldn't have come back here that night. But because you did, Maya is stuck all by herself at the Inner Temple. Uh, I am so sorry. Droughts in that place and nothing to shake a stick at. Winter is especially bad. I'll bet. The training hall looks like it's about to fall down any second. Eagle Mountain has always been prone to earthquakes, just so you know. Uh, earthquakes? Yes. I wouldn't be surprised if the next big one levels the training hall. Gotta get Meyer out of there. Fast. But still, there's really no need to worry. That area on the other side of Dusky Bridge is isolated like an island. Like an island? How so? Well, the only thing on that side of the bridge is the inner temple. No one lives out there, and it's surrounded on all sides by the river or the forest. I see. So a criminal will be trapped should they choose to flee in that direction. Uh, un unless they go through the forest? Like, but there's a forest. You could go through a forest. It's not like a cliff. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, we have we have to take it for granted that yeah, no one could actually flee through the forest, even though a forest is very much something a person could go through. And as long as the bridge is out of commission, they will have to stay there. That means Maya could be stuck out there with a murderer and with no way of escape either. Oh dear. Yes, I suppose it does. Uh, please, Gumshoe, get that bridge up faster. I'm curious about a few things, if you don't mind answering some questions. Oh? You need to know my measurements for your investigation or something? No, 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 no. I want to know a little more about the victim, Miss Elise Junin. I'm afraid I don't know her waist size, or her bust size for that matter. No, no. I'm wondering why she came to stay in a place like this to begin with. I mean, she told us herself that she wasn't here for spiritual training. My, my, my. You make it sound like this place is some sort of dump, Mr. Wright. Mr. Galise was here to soak up the natural beauty of Eagle Mountain, if you must know. There. You did it again. Mr. Bikini. You notice you always refer to Miss Junim as... Mr. Galise. Oh? Yes. Now, why is that? After all, she's not here as an acolyte. We address all our visitors as mystic. It makes their experience feel authentic. And anyway... 
She's older than me. You must respect your elders, you know. How do you know that? How can you say for sure that she's older than you? <gasps> I get bugs. Hmm. Seems Miss Elise Junin was no ordinary visitor after all. And there's pearls. She was with Miss Junim on the evening of the murder, and now she's vanished. It's all got to be connected somehow. Why did pearls have to get mixed up in this mess? Please, Mr. Wright, I know you're worried, but try to keep it together. Oh, man. My head's throbbing so bad, it's killing me. Pearls, she was with Miss Junim on the night of the murder, remember? Yes, but I have a temple to run, you know? I was busy preparing for the training. I didn't see the little darling even once after we'd finished eating dinner. Murder. It didn't take place right in front of her innocent eyes, did it? <gasps> According to the detective, she hasn't turned up at her home either. Come on, keep calm. There's one place left where Pearls could be. She just has to be there. Come on, Gumshoe. Tell me you'll be done with the repairs soon. Every ninth, Azakura Temple, Courtyard. It was Sister Bikini witnessed the incident. Hard to imagine she was lying on the stand, so... Maybe there are some clues that have yet to be found. The staff? Miss Junim's staff. I definitely remember there being a crystal sphere attached to the staff. I guess Larry eventually found the sphere near the foot of Dusky Bridge, but... What was it doing all the way out there? Chichishido is bearing Mr. Gami's right hand. Amy? Ami? But it was proven in court today that it wasn't the murder weapon. Given the design, it must have been used for some pretty gruesome things in the past. I don't think there's any clues we can get right now in this area. I have to basically wait around a bit. Hey! I forget this is Larry or Gumshoe. What was that jarring, inconsiderately loud yell? So this is where you've been, keeping nice and warm, I see. Detective, uh, have you finished repair the bridge? Yeah, I did. I told you I'd let you know. Well, well, well. Then I'll come along with you and... Sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized entry. Access restricted to people involved in the case. What was that? I'm involved, aren't I? You couldn't get much more involved than me. Well, yeah, but that's not what I mean. Ah! It's been a vile, Ruffy. It's Miss V V V V V V V Sister, please leave the investigation to me. My, my, my. Well, you certainly seem to have everything under control. I am on your side. I won't do anything you don't want me to. And she worked to pin the guilt on Iris. What are you daydreaming about, Phoenix Vite? Ow! That hurts, you know. Silent. I, Franziska von Karma, will personally guide you through your investigation. You will follow me. She's not seriously going to follow me around, is she? She is. Franzi is now our, our investigation companion. Uh, I'm not sure we can do much out here. Yeah, we, we, we want to go across the bridge. I'm very impressed that Gumshu got that done in just a few minutes. Like, that's that's a pretty solo bridge considering the effort they had, like the time they had to do it. Every ninth, in a temple gate. Things have certainly become a lot more hectic than before. They must have commenced with the investigation. Oh, Mr. Nick, I think this is Pearl. That voice. <coughs> Pearls. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick. Oh. So, you were here ever since that night? I was so lonely, I thought I was going to die. 
When I woke up in the morning and saw that Dusty Bridge was gone. I realized I was all alone. I was all alone? It must have been very trying for you, little girl. Ah! Your... Oh. I am Franziska von Karma, the prodigy. There's no need to worry now that I'm here. You're the prosecutor who was so mean to Mystic Maya last year. Well... Well... I... I don't like you. You're nothing but a little girl without your whip. I mean, we don't really need the misogyny, but... I mean, go, go off. Mystic Maya didn't do anything wrong, but you were so mean. I'll never forgive you. I... I... It's like Pearl's words are getting under her skin. Yow! Why are you whipping me? I didn't even say anything. You didn't have to. The smile on your lips gave you a vey. Uh, anyway, Pearls? Weren't you with Maya? Ah. I'm sorry. It's, it's all my fault. Huh? What are you talking about, Pearls? I... I... Oh, Mystic Maya! Hey, wait, Pearls! You just ran off. Ow! Is that cruel, Phoenix Vite? To make a little girl cry like that is inexcusable. What was all that about? Pearls acting like that? Give me the creeps. Guess I better take another look around since I've finally got a chance. Especially since something about this place seems different from two days ago. Uh, well, for one thing, this incinerator has been used. There's a weird smell coming from that incinerator. The door is also open, almost like it's begging me to look inside. Well, well, let's see what stunning clue is concealed in here, shall we? Huh? It's empty. How naive of you, Phoenix and Light. But it's a bit strange, don't you think? Franziska von Karma? Thing to remember. There was snow on this incinerator the first time I saw it. In other words, someone's been using it to burn something recently. Listen, Phoenix Fight. It's impertinent to call people by their full name. I'm only copying you. February 9th, in a temple, training hall. What's wrong? Why is so quiet? Maya, she was supposed to be in here training. Yet, it appears she's nowhere to be seen. What's that? That strange lock. It wasn't there two days ago. This whole room is really giving off some strange vibes. Hmm, this door. When I was here two days ago, that weird lock wasn't on it. It's those chains. It's almost as if they're guarding something inside that cavern. I've never seen a lock quite like this before. I have. I've seen locks and chains just like just like this before. They look like look just like the ones that guard a person's secrets during a psyche lock. Even if this lock is guarding something too. Dark secrets in a dark cavern. What do you think this yellowish poster is, Phoenix Vine? It's a scroll, not a poster. It's a picture of a woman who's actually... Woman? I don't see any woman here. There's a different atmosphere in this room since the last time I was here. No, it's not a different atmosphere, it's a different smell. It's gravy! What's the matter? This scroll... It's been completely covered in gravy. Ah, yes, there is a very appetizing smell in the air. But gravy is a type of sauce. So when you run out of paint, you Americans use gravy as a substitute, I see. No, no one does that. For starters, it stinks. <laughs> Must be the gravy that we had with the roast on the night of the incident. But why would anyone do this? Why this scroll? Being scroll updated. Touch to see before and after view under the check screen. Uh, I don't know who this is. I think it might be Edgeworth. 
What took you so long? But even you'd manage to get here faster than this. Oh, with Gotto. Mr. Trite. Right, I forgot Gotto was here. <laughs> Prosecutor Gotto! I didn't know you were here. You prosecute them? How come you didn't show up at the trial today? Huh. I could ask you the exact same question. Huh? But I was... I had a cold, so... I had something slightly more important than a common cold to deal with. The importance of which is something you have no hope of ever understanding. Enough, I believe I have as a measure of you. You are the very vast kind of prosecutor. What could be more important than a trial? Here's the wild mad fright. This is Ms. Von Karma. She was the acting prosecutor in your absence today. Well, I guess I owe you one then. You can go now, princess. It's time for the big boys to take the reins. Okay. Again, we could have, could have done without the misogyny. Um, I don't love that. Just who do you think you are? This case is my... Hey, Billy. Know your role and shut your mouth. I can't stand women like you. Oof. Fuck you, Gotto. Wow. I'm only going to say this once. Lady Von Whippingberg. Go home. Phoenix Bite! What are you hitting me for? Fucking misogynist? Huh. You deserve more cracks of the whip than that, trite. What? You still don't get it, do you? You don't realise that you've set something in motion you'll never be able to undo. Something different about Gotto today. I'm getting such a strong sense of something from behind that mask of his. Is it anger? Or... Is it... sorrow? I had some important business and that's why you weren't in court, huh? So, what was it? I've told you once before, perhaps you don't remember. I've returned from the depths of hell to battle with you. You see, right? I've experienced something most have not. Death. You... Of course, being extradited from hell is a tedious affair. The meticulous regeneration and adjustment of all your internal organs is... Well, let's just say modern medicine allows us all to live for a ripe old age. Even someone like me. So, you mean... That mask you wear is... This ugly device? I promise it's not a fashion statement, my unenlightened friend. Without this, I can't see your frequently dumbfounded face. I... I didn't know. My eyesight is pretty messed up. Even with these huge goggles on my head, I still can't see everything. Still, keep this worn out piece of junk of a body going with regular servicing. I'm sorry, but you say you experienced death? How is that possible? What happened? Why didn't you ask him? Huh? M me? Yeah, try it. You. You should know all about it. You know when my life ended, and who ended it for me. Bell Phoenix Vite? Who? I, I, I don't know what he's talking about. Although, to be honest, I do feel a little tug at the corner of my memory. I think I do know about how Gotto was killed. It'll all become clear in due time. Isn't that right, Trite? Early, you said I've done something I can never undo? What did you mean by that exactly? The inner temple here on this side of Dusky Bridge is an isolated island. That's just what the king said too. And I wonder, Trite, do you know what the police are doing here today? What do you mean? They're searching. Searching for any trace of an acolyte who went missing. M Missing? As leader of the search party, I can tell you this with absolute certainty. Maya Fey is not on this side of Dusky Bridge. <gasps> huh? But, but that's impossible! She came here that night and... I won't say it again. The chances of her being here are nil. Excluding, of course, one very unique place. One? Where is that? The sacred cavern, the entrance of which we are standing at right now. This is the only place that the search party is yet to explore. 
I haven't searched that cavern yet, huh? Be aware, though, that the temperature inside frequently falls below freezing, even if she were in there. The chances of her being found alive are slim at best. No! Which means, Trike, that you sent Maya Faye to her death. Oh. That's the situation. Why aren't you in there with a search party right now? You must have, been, have blinders on, my equestrian angel. Did you see the big lock and chains? Oh, God, God. Otto, please stop with the misogyny. I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. It's a trick lock. I'm making preparations to open it as we speak. Well, try it. Once again, a woman dies because of you. Once again? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you've forgotten. It was only two years ago, after all. When the last unfortunate woman died because of you. Because of me? And do you know who that was? It was Maya Faye's sister. That's right, Mia Faye. M Mia? You killed her. N no, that's not how it was. It was two years ago. Mia Faye was pursuing someone, a man. But she bit off more than she could chew. She made a very dangerous enemy. Yeah, that's one case I'll never forget. But I got that guy, personally. Sure, Ms. Faye's murderer was caught. But that won't bring her back. Well, no, but... You were with her at the time. You and no one else. It was your responsibility. You should have protected her. I... You say Mia Faye was your teacher. Well then, I'd say you've learned nothing, trite. You robbed her of her life. And now, you've let her sister suffer the same fate. I haven't sentenced Maya to death. No. What is this peculiar looking lock? Why don't we just break it open? It would be a simple matter of... I'm afraid we can't do that. This area has always been prone to earthquake. The repeated tremors have weakened the foundations of the training hall. Any excessive force used to break the lock open would... Well, let's just say the inner temple and the sacred cavern would be a thing of the past. Very well. Then dare I suggest the obvious solution of opening it with the key? Ha! Sure, just show me where the keyhole is on this trick lock. There's no keyhole? That's right, an interesting puzzle, huh? The person who set this lock is the only one who can open it. And who was it? Temple, the accused. What? Iris? When I glad undergoes training inside the sacred cavern, the attending sister is responsible for locking the entrance. Obviously, the night of the murder was no exception. Maya Faye was to train in there. The king did mention it a number of times now that I think about it. He said that Iris was left in charge of supervising the early stages of the training. So Iris, the accused, is the only one who can open this lock. I've arranged for her to be brought here now. This is the only person who can open this lock? If she gets here soon, hang on in there, Maya. We'll get you out. So, I should be getting back to work. Wait, Gotto. I'm not sure about Maya, are you? There's no doubt in my mind. She's in the sacred cavern somewhere. Is the only place she could be. You'd better start praying. You'd better pray that friend of yours brings the accused back here soon. Edgeworth? Listen up, Trite. There's only one thing I want to say to you before I go. I'll never accept you. Never. You should choose your friends more carefully, Phoenix Vite. That's what everyone says. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. I guess I'll just have to do what I can for now. I don't know. Should I? Shouldn't I? Sounds like someone's talking to himself, but where's that coming from? Yeah, I guess I better wash that off. That's what I'll do. No, but I can't do that. I'm a detective. Ugh, my brain. This is driving me nuts. Aha! Is something troubling you, Scruffy? Please don't whip me like that all of a sudden, sir. It was merely a simple greeting, a friendly tap on the shoulder. Viv my vip. So, what's up, Gumshoe? Is something on your mind? Uh, uh, 
how did you know, pal? Perhaps you were trying to decide if you wanted to wash that off or not? H how did you know, sir? Oh, yeah, I nearly forgot. You can't go through that little gate there, okay? Um, you mean the one that says no entry on it? I, um, kind of already snuck in there. You trying to be clever or something? So what's behind there, Scruffy? Huh? A kind of garden-like garden. A garden? Yeah. Anyway, it's under investigation right now, so keep out. I'm not telling you, I'm asking you, pal. You got me? Only the other way around. Well, see you later. So, shall we adjourn to this garden, Phoenix Fight? Of course. What else would we do? I really want to know what gum she was thinking of washing off. Let's go to the garden. It's a mystery. <laughs> Every night in a temple garden. There's a strange feeling in the air. I wonder what it is. Strange feeling? Forget about that. That strange writing on the stone lantern. Ah! What are you doing here, sir? I thought I said you can't come in here. Don't you know, Scruffy? A Von Karma will always show up wherever there is a clue. And there are plenty of clues to be found here. But... but I'm, tr I'm trying to do a voice, but it's so hard. I'm really bad at it. <laughs> no clues here. What the heck is that? Uh-oh. You spotted it, huh, pal? Are you kidding me? It couldn't be more obvious. It says... Maya. Yeah, and before you ask, it's written in blood. You will answer all our questions now, Scruffy. Without exception. Y yes, sir. There's a charm or something poking out from the snow. It looks pretty old. There's a leather cord tied to it, too. Apparently it belonged to the victim. To Miss Elise Dunim? Yeah, there was a broken leather cord around the lady's neck. The ends of the cords found on both the victim and on this charm match exactly. Sounds to me like... This little trinket is going to be my ticket to getting some very big answers. The Rain Masters tells me I entered the court record. So, how's the Inner Temple investigation going? You have the best forensic team in the world working in the place. Forensic team? And what was the outcome of this scientific study? Nothing! Scientifically speaking, the place is as clean as a whistle. That's simply not good enough, Scruffy. You think I'll let you get away with that? Uh-oh. Well, there are a couple of things that bothered me when I first got here, sir. There's that stone lantern in the surrounding area that's not covered in snow, correct? They look kind of fishy to me, you know, scientifically speaking. So I got the lab boys to look them over. The results were... kind of hard to say, actually. I so better look into them myself. Um, about Maya. Oh, um, did Mr. Goddard tell you yet? Yes, we heard. He's got a search party out looking for her. But there's nowhere else she could have disappeared to on this side of Dusky Bridge. All we can do is wait for Mr. Edgeworth to get here, pal. Edgeworth? He's escorting Iris, the defendant, over here. They'll have to wait, then she is the only one who can open the door to the secret cabin. Oh, I think Mr. Edgeworth wants to talk to you about something too, pal. Huh? I wonder what it is. Just don't be expecting any good news when you talk to him. When I spoke to him, Mr. Edgeworth sounded so down, I felt like I was drowning. Sounds... pleasant. Maya. So those letters are written in blood. Yeah. What's worse is it's the victim's blood. Huh? This is Miss Dunim's blood? We haven't done a detailed analysis yet, but it's looking that way, pal. Hmm. Most interesting. Phoenix Vite. I presume you know, don't you? Vimeo's name is written upside down. You know what? That was really bothering me too. But I just came up with the answer. The result of my own special gumshoe investigation. Really? You tell. Well, on the night of the murder, 
That stone lantern was upside down. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, there's really only one logical explanation to this mystery. Ms. Lustinium votes those letters herself in her own blood. You must be joking. That's impossible. The writing in the victim's blood and the other clues left behind, it seems pretty likely that this garden was the scene of Miss Elysianim's murder. At least, that's our current theory on how the events took place, pal. What? But Miss Janim was killed here? However you want to look at it, that's what the people are saying now. Then, what this the bikini saw in the courtyard of the main temple was... Well, what was it? If that wasn't the scene of the crime, what did she see? What do you think, Ms. Von Karma? Surely a special gumshoe investigation would reveal the answer, no? But wait a sec, the bloody writing and all the other clues here. Someone could have easily set all that look, could have easily set all that up after the murder, right? Sorry, but that's not an option, pal. Why not? How quick do you forget, Phoenix Vite? Ever since the incident occurred, this place has been completely inaccessible. Because Dusky Bridge was completely burned out. I was overseeing repairs to the bridge the whole time. No one came over here before me and my men. Which means no one could have planted all this stuff here, pal. Hmm. I can't think of a counter-argument to that. I knew it. I should have washed the blood off the lantern as soon as I got here. It really was the scene of the crime. I need to figure out exactly what it was that Bikini actually saw. Uh... I think that's all we need from you, I think? I believe now we can go back to see... Every night, Tazakura Temple, main gate. Seems you have a visitor. Mr. Wright! Iris, I'm really glad to see you. Baro managed to mobilize the police by claiming a state of emergency. Not him again. Never mind, Tim, we've got to hurry and unlock the sacred cavern. Sorry, Mr. Wright, it's my fault someone so important to you is locked in there. Mr. Edgeworth, can we finish our conversation later? Alright. Let's hurry to the inner temple then. I'll see you later, right? Wait, Edgeworth, I'm coming with you guys. Sorry, right? I can't allow you to come with us. What? I hate to be the one to break it to you, but... My affair is in a rather... Delicate position. What do you mean by a delicate position? I think it's the one Godot told you about already. This isn't simply a rescue operation, right? It's also an investigation. That being the case, we can't allow members of the public to interfere. Come on, Edgeworth. Anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Please understand, right? It's Maya, Mr. Wright. All that matters is that Mr. Maya is rescued, correct? I... Listen to the voice of reason for a change, Phoenix Knight. From now on, consider anything beyond Dusky Bridge to be off-limit. We'll be going now. Excuse us. Act! No time to be standing around, Phoenix Vite. Aren't there other things that demand your attention? He's right. Thanks for reminding me. Every night, Hazakura Temple, Main Hall. The bikini looks like she's shrunk some since I last saw her. Don't be so rude, Phoenix Vite. What's wrong, Sister Bikini? My, my, my. Hello, you two. How are you doing? Waha, waha, ha, 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 sound of that sigh, I guess she's still pretty down. Iris was just here, you know. She was accompanied by that handsome crimson clad prince. Talking about Edgeworth? Just a courtesy call. I wasn't allowed to talk with her at all. Oh dear, it's all my fault that this has happened. Poor Iris. Was worried about my back, would you believe? What have I done to her? Only what you had to do, sister. You bravely and truthfully testified about what you saw. There's no shame in that. And we'll see to it that your testimony wasn't made in vain. Well, I didn't hear anyone else saying that. 
Mr. Bluetooth doesn't seem to share your opinion, I see. Huh? Me? Ack? Oh, oh, yes. You did great, Sister Bikini. Absolutely spectacular. You two are the only ones who've said that to me. I don't shake the feeling that this became a shield to a shrew. Oof. You have a problem, Phoenix Vite. Oh, she was brave to testify so truthfully like that, but I think she's still hiding something. I guess it's time to break those psyche locks of hers. Yep, that's what we're about to do. Elise Junim. Mr. Bikini, the truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. I'm convinced that Miss Elise Junim had a special significance to this temple. As to why she had a special significance, it has to do with her true identity. What on earth are you talking about? She... she was... Mystic Elise was an author. Just an author of picture books. To be honest, I had my suspicions almost immediately after I met her. But suspicions? Yes. I didn't have any evidence to support my theory, though. But now I do. This piece of evidence proves Miss Junim's true identity. Who's wearing this, uh, Curane Masters talisman? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Junim had this charm with her at all times. Yag, Where did you- This isn't some cheap good luck charm, either. But then... What do you think it is, Mr. Wright? What could a talisman like that possibly mean? It's a talisman, is it? Interesting. Oops. This thing speaks volumes about who Miss Dunim really was. This talisman and one other item unequivocally prove Miss Dunim's true identity. One other item is the scroll, because the scroll has that same symbol on it. The painting is obscured by this gravy stain at the moment. But this scroll shows the master of the Kurain channeling technique. The crest at the top is a sign of that honourable title. The very same crest that adorns the talisman the victim carried with her. Ah! This crest is reserved for the master of Kurain. Who on earth told you that nonsense? I, I've got no idea what you're talking about. The new master, Maya Fey, told me. Wh what? Y you mean that acolyte? That acolyte? Is Misty Faye's daughter? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. In fact, since her eldest daughter passed away, Maya is Misty Faye's sole successor. Mm. Mystic Misty! <laughs> Unlock successful. Mystic Elise graced us with her presence about a week ago. When she showed me the talisman with that mark on it, well, I nearly fainted. No one had seen her since she disappeared 17 years ago, after all. What is the significance of this talisman, sister? A Kurain talisman is a symbol of the master of Kurain. The bearer must carry it with them always until their death. Until their death? So Elysium was really Maya's mother, huh? It was Misty Fay, the ma master of the Curane channeling technique. Bruce comes out at last, looks like we're making some headway here. Tell me, sister. After 17 years, why did she show, show herself now? Because something happened that called her out of hiding. W what happened? Well... What's happening? Uh, it can't be. Uh, earthquake! Ah! Oh my goodness, the inner temple! This kind of tremor might... Is the inner temple? The sacred cavern in the training hall, it might very well cave in! What? Maya! It seems to have passed. Well, we can't just stand here and do nothing, let's go! What? There? The inner temple, of course, where else? Mr. Bikini will finish this later, alright? Of course, you run along now. People may have been hurt. I must get some first aid kits ready. 
Come on then, Phoenix Vite. They won't bar you from entering as long as I am with you. Thank you. Right at that moment, I had the worst feeling in my gut. I just had an earthquake. I wonder if he's alright. You look worried. Are you thinking about Miles Edge first? Come on, let's go. We've got to hurry to the inner temple and... Right. Ah! What are you doing here? Grr. How could I have... How do you expect us to understand if you don't speak up? Yow! Hey, why am I the one we're getting whipped? She's gone. No! The defendant, Iris. She's gone. Gone there. She fled. She escaped. What? So, it was just now, during the... It's easy to see Edgeworth's one and only weakness. Your earthquakes. I should have known better than to escort the defendant alone. As soon as the ground started shaking, everything went dark before my eyes and... Stupidly passed out. The incident haunts you this day, doesn't it? That's no excuse for letting the suspect get away. I can't believe I let it happen. Right, the inner temple area is a dead end, so she'd only have escaped to this side. V haven't seen her. Then we need to get a manhunt underway now and search Eagle Mountain from top to bottom. Wait, Edgeworth. Have you thoroughly checked the inner temple yet? Don't be ridiculous. Why would I? The inner temple is like an island. There's no way to escape but to cross. No, that's not it. Iris isn't the type of person to run away, Edgeworth. What are you talking about? Mr. Bikini mentioned something when we were with her. She said that the sacred cavern might have caved in because of the quake. And you think Iris might have gone to the inner temple to check on the situation? Listen, Edgeworth. I'm sure she's at the inner temple. A manhunt is not necessary. Right. Let's not waste any more time. We need to get to the training hall sacred cavern now. Alright, let's go. February 9th, in a temple, training hall. Fortunately, the sacred cavern hadn't caved in. But, what we found was something none of us could have ever expected. How can there be even more luck? What is the meaning of this? Iris! Iris, please tell me. What the hell is going on? To be continued. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time... Ah, uh, there's actually another investigation segment, so we'll get to the bottom of the investigation. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!